John Landis, the prolific filmmaker behind such classics as Animal House, The Blues Brothers, and An American Werewolf in London, is known for his eclectic and vibrant approach to cinema. One aspect of Landis's filmmaking that often goes overlooked is his penchant for casting other directors in his movies. This unique practice not only adds an extra layer of depth to his films, but also highlights Landis' collaborative spirit and appreciation for his fellow filmmakers. Throughout his career, Landis has made a habit of casting directors in supporting or cameo roles, often as a nod to their contributions to the world of cinema. This practice serves as a form of intertextuality, blurring the lines between reality and fiction and enriching the viewing experience for audiences. One of Landis's most notable collaborations with fellow directors came in the form of The Blues Brothers, his 1980 musical comedy starring Dan Aykroyd and John Belushi. In addition to its star-studded cast, which included musical legends like Aretha Franklin and James Brown, the film featured cameo appearances by a host of acclaimed filmmakers, including Steven Spielberg, Frank Oz, and John Candy. Spielberg, a close friend of Landis, made a memorable appearance as the ill-fated Cook County Assessor's Office clerk in The Blues Brothers, while Oz, best known for his work as the puppeteer behind Yoda in the Star Wars franchise, played a corrections officer. Meanwhile, Candy, who would go on to collaborate with Landis on several other projects, appeared as Burton Mercer, the parole officer assigned to track down the titular duo. Landis' affinity for casting fellow directors extends beyond the Blues Brothers and can be seen throughout his filmography. In An American Werewolf in London, Landis cast Frank Oz in a small role as a morgue attendant. While in Trading Places, he enlisted the talents of directors like Joel Cohen and Sam Raimi to play small parts. This practice not only adds an extra layer of texture to Landis's films, but also serves as a testament to his generosity and camaraderie within the filmmaking community. By inviting his fellow directors to share in the creative process, Landis fosters a sense of collaboration and mutual respect that enriches the cinematic landscape. In an industry often characterized by competition and ego, Landis's willingness to cast other directors in his movies stands as a refreshing reminder of the power of collaboration and the importance of supporting one another's creative endeavors. Through his unique approach to casting, Landis has created a cinematic universe that celebrates the contributions of filmmakers both in front of and behind the camera. As audiences continue to revisit Landis's films and discover the hidden gems scattered throughout his eclectic filmography, let us not forget the role that his fellow directors have played in shaping his vision and enriching the world of cinema. In the director's playground that is John Landis' filmography, there's always room for one more filmmaker to join the fun.